yeah, let's get started, I guess. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Part 3. On Sega Saturn, I have once again entered the world of survival horror. How's it going, dude? Why didn't it play Buck Bumble? Hold on. Uh, it is running. One second. Let me... Why didn't it do that? Do, do, do. This one, right? Um, let me restart Sammy. One second. It did get an update today. Maybe that's why. Hold on. Surely now. I love troubleshooting. Okay, is it just not? I don't know. <laughs> um. Can I manually run it? What about now? It's that time works? to rock with the big debug bumble. Huh. Maybe I need to restart OBS. Or reconnect it? Hold on. I think I fixed it. Uh... Okay, I think I fixed it. Let me try it again. This is very important. What about now? It's time to rock with Fixed the big debug bumble. There you go. That one's on me. All right. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, noob. Uh, I think I was about to fight a boss. Uh, I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was way too freaking tired. Uh, I went to bed after getting home from work and doing my jog. Uh, and by went to bed, I mean I lied down on the couch for a nap and 90 minutes had passed and I had woken up and I was still tired. So, uh, RTO has been basically killing me. Having to drive an extra, you know, two hours a day to get to work and back. Um, so I have the book. I have healing. Do I want more? I do want more healing. Hold on. Uh, I guess I want that one, probably. Okay. We have a, a funny plant we have to kill, I think. I don't know... Hold on. Can you actually... If I combine this here, does that get rid of the six? I just can't combine. Okay. I have to use my six bazooka shots before I can equip different bazooka shots, apparently. This is the way the ammo works in this game. Alright, let's see if I remember the map on this area. That red door is a scam. I remember that much. There's big, awful spiders in there. Also, notes. Uh, this should be the notepad. One second. There we go. Here's the current notes for the RE playthrough. Uh, I have to go in what I assume is the plant room. Grab health. Done. I have a broken shotgun. I have this code. I don't know what the hell this code is for. This is from the pool table. I might have already solved this puzzle. Uh, I'm missing the helmet key to access a bunch of stuff in the mansion. Uh, I need a red gem for the tiger statue, where I, I think I remember who that is. And then I need a numeric code, which could be this, or not? I don't know? So that's where we are. Uh, was it through here? Yeah, because the, the other place is in room 30 whatever, 20 whatever. Uh, and that goes downstairs to the shark room. So this should be the right one. And then I think it's this room? I connected to that big room? Is 
So yeah, I think I have a boss fight. The way everything's been leading up to it. And this... This, uh, bookshelf that requires something to open a secret... ...door, I believe, will lead me to that. I wonder where the missing book is? There we go. Choose your own adventure puzzle game? Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure that's what Resident Evil is. It's a spooky puzzle game. For nerds who like math. <laughs> that's what they don't tell you about the series. They're like, oh, it's it's spooky zombies. And then they're like, oh, but there's also bugs and math. Oh, fuck. Uh... Perish. I don't know if that works. I can't really. Perish. Perish. I did weaken this thing by pouring poison into it. Ow. Into its roots. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> I don't really know what's hitting me. Something from the ceiling, I guess? Am I dead? I'm dying. Let's use some herbs. Okay. How's it going, Seacolm? Okay, did I do it? Spooky. Very spooky. Uh... What did that accomplish? <laughs> I mean, I killed it. That's good and all. Uh, okay. Maybe this is something? Oh, okay, the key. I do need that. That's probably the helmet. Unless there's another key I don't know about. Come on, helmet. Yo, okay, helmet key. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Nice. Um. All right, let's, uh, you know, I never actually looked at the shotgun. There's a bunch of stuff I just haven't actually investigated. But a key is good. That is a thing I wanted. So that means I can go back to the mansion now. That was an easy boss for babies. That was the other good news. The real key was inside me all along? No, it was inside you, C colon. Yeah. <gasps> Wesker. <gasps> Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that Great. right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. You're right? Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. All right, if you see a clue, I want you to point at the screen and yell real loud. Can do, Wesker. Oh, what the?
Oh, those are the spooky bugs that he was shooting. Ah. I see. Gross. It's all over my shoes. That was the spookiest thing of all. You know what? Now that the plant's going, I can't prank myself with this thing anymore, so. <laughs> That's what I thought. If another tentacle popped out and hit me in the hit me in the face, that would have been totally worth it. Anyway, um Yes. <clears throat> I have a key now. That's the good news. I'll probably save, I guess. I only have one healing item. Um, I guess I'll grab both. Yeah, let's see. Doesn't have to do that boss again. <clears throat> This is a pretty early save, considering I just saved right before this room, but why not? So we need to go all the way back to the mansion, and then I need to remember every single freaking door that needed a helmet key. That is the current where we are at in the game. And I still have this lighter, which isn't useful, or useless yet, and this crank. Um, I might need the crank to get back. I guess I'll take it with me. That means I can't pick anything up along the way back, though, unless I heal. But that's okay. Because I had to use the crank to get here. So I might need to use the crank on the way back. I'm not sure. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, the statue reset. Now that it's no longer over the hole, I guess. That's weird. Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm trying out the winter edition of Red Bull, by the way. I can use an energy drink as long as it's low caffeine, and the small cans of energy drinks from Red Bull do have a much smaller amount of caffeine. The Winter Bull. It's an iced vanilla berry flavor, which means it tastes like medicine. <laughs> I do not like it. It tastes like it's trying to disguise the taste of something else. It's for bronchitis? Maybe, yeah. You never know, you know. I get it. Uh, <clears throat> Where did I put that battery? Oh, maybe it was this elevator. Yeah, it tastes like cough syrup. <clears throat> I think that's that's probably the closest. Um, so this is the spooky snakes falling from the sky room. <clears throat> it's so spooky. Because they fall from the sky. You get it? So spooky. Right, maybe I didn't need the crank. Um... Okay. Oh right, there's all these herbs right here. Frig. Now I wish I didn't have the stupid crank with me. Um... Crap. I want to pick one of these up and combine it with my thing. Whatever, I'll remember they're here if I need healing. 
I definitely won't forget. Okay? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm making a note right now so I don't forget. So far. Uh, two green, one red, one blue outside of the mansion. Back door. Eh. Okay. Now, what rooms use the frickin' Bing Dang helmet key? <laughs> I didn't write down any of the rooms that need a helmet key. <laughs> I was just gonna remember them, like a big idiot. I think there's one near this door. Like, right next to this door. Oh, uh-oh. <gasps> Wait, that's the elevator I just went up. <gasps> oh. <laughs> the spooky Stretch Armstrong arm. Oh god, ah oh, jeez. Oh my god, that was amazing. <gasps> oh, it's the Scooby-Doo villain. Fuck off. Ow. Fuck off. Well, that went pretty well. Anyway, um, was it this door? Hold on, let me check my map. <laughs> that was so spooky! Okay, I think this one is a helmet key door. What's in here? I might have to go to the, uh, um storage room put some stuff away first oh my god this room is so dark uh, a switch yes please okay the light thank you oh i want that um shit okay let's go let's go to the storage real quick I'm gonna feed that wolf, yeah. A woo. A bork bork. Me outside the Resident Evil mansion. A bork wolf. Give food. I think this was right next to one of the save rooms. Oh. Fuck. Hey man. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, fuck. I, I gotta reload. No, wait, I am reloaded. What? I don't know. I guess it reloaded when I was clicking. Well, I guess I can go back and get those, uh, herbs now. Fuck. <laughs> they take five shotgun shots, or two rocket uh, launcher rounds, apparently. Maybe I should just use bazooka rounds on them? Oh, there's ammo and stuff here that wasn't here before. What? Where'd all this stuff come from? Uh, hold on. Is this not real? <laughs> I'm, I'm interacting with it. No, there we go, okay. Uh, I would like the first aid spray, yes? Who left this stuff here? I'm just saying, the scariest thing that could happen right now in the video game is if you were walking down a hallway and then Mambo number 5 started playing. And it was all like, you can't run, and you can't hide, just over and over again. And then, the trumpets! And, yeah, Monica comes out. Or Rita. Terrifying stuff. You, you, you getting all this? This is spooky stuff. Oh. 
I've never been the trumpet's jump scare, but I'm just saying it would work. <laughs> Uh, I guess I want to take the Beretta with me. <clears throat> that looked like a pistol upgrade. Uh, I could just come back to this room. I don't want to upgrade that. I'm not saving right now, anyway. Okay, well... Um, is my- my mic volume's kind of low, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Whenever I record the podcast, I always fuck with the mic. Uh, and it always lowers it from my OBS volume. Because my stream volume is always higher than my recording volume. So I, I'd like to be in the yellow on my OBS. Otherwise it's too quiet for the game, usually. You can't run! You can't hide! Alright, what's in this room? Some sort of a pistol upgrade, or... Uh, I think Magnum's the gun in this game somewhere. Maybe a Magnum upgrade? Because it was a revolver round. I have to turn on the light first, I guess. That turns itself back off. Magnum rounds. Okay, I do not have a Magnum. That is nice, though, I guess. Um, What else is in here? Every time after a therapy session, use Chrome and it alters your mic volume. Yeah, that's that sucks. I I do manually go in and change my volume, so it's not like it's something that's like doing it on its own. Doom book. The what? The hell is a doom book? Is that everything in here? Did I get it all? I guess. Unless this is pushable. But that would just push to a room I've already been to, so... Okay. I don't know what those are for. <clears throat> Let's drop that off. Let's go get the... Um... Uh. Yeah, let's drop this off. Let's go get the herbs that I was talking about. Now that I'm thinking about it. Um, and then let's go look for more rooms that I have to open. With more of those spooky monsters to deal with. I should, in theory, just be able to look at my map and see which rooms I haven't been inside, and those should be the helmet rooms. Uh, outside of the top left, which needs a code. Anyway. Ugh. God, this Red Bull is awful. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. I'm just gonna have a bad time the whole time. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of recording, we reached episode 200 of the podcast recently. And we just put, uh, just put out episode 201. Um, the first two movies we ever did for the podcast was Cop Dog, which was about a ghost dog, and Karate Dog, which was about a cop dog. <laughs> um, the movie we just did is called Ghost Dog, which is about a cop ghost dog. Like, a dog that's a ghost that inhabits a cop. It possesses a cop. We've gone full circle after 200 episodes. <laughs> yeah, 200 is a lot of episodes, so thank you. Um, that's almost six years worth of, of recording. Probably, what, 40 episodes a year? Something like that? 
It's a lot. I think we're starting to finally gain some steam this year. <laughs> like, the algorithm's starting to actually push some of our stuff. And you could just dump a bunch of shit content early. Um, just to get, like, numbers up for the algorithm. But we were doing it legit. You know, long episodes. Weekly. Yeah, I've seen a lot of content, unfortunately. <laughs> Not all the good, as it turns out. Okay. I'm gonna mark these off on my notes. I already have these now. Current notepad. Um, Nick was asking me, um, my buddy Nick was asking me if I felt like I needed to take notes during this game. And I think you actually do need to take notes in the original version of the game. If you're playing the remake, maybe not so much. It might have some quality life changes. But this game often does things where you'll see something in a room, but it doesn't mark it in that room. And if you don't keep a note, you will just never find it again until you wander around room to room, one at a time. Trying to figure out what the hell you were doing, or where. Um, puzzles are often multi-room things. They're not, like, individual to a single room. Or, or at least, there's a variety of them that are individual to a single room, and others that aren't. There's, like, codes you get from some places that you have to write down to use in a different room later. If you're doing everything in, like, one or two sessions, um, where everything's on the top of your mind... You might be okay, but often I was running into a problem where I was, like, running into a puzzle, wasn't really sure how to solve it, so I'm like, oh, I'll come back later. Uh, and then by the time I got around to coming back to it, I didn't remember what the hell I was doing in that room. <laughs> but writing it down uh, kept it on my, like, top of my mind, so I would remember to be like, oh, I need to go back and do that later. Um, and then by the time I got back to it, I was already kind of thinking about it. I'm like, oh, it's probably just this. I, I probably just missed something simple. Um, but I think if you're playing this game for the first time on the original release, like I am, uh, you absolutely should be taking notes and then constantly changing your checklist and writing things down and deleting them. Maybe keep a map. The in-game map's fine, but it doesn't have detail. So writing things down in rooms and which rooms need which keys and things like that, pretty helpful, I gotta say. I did not save, by the way. Um, I don't have any other ink ribbons, so I, I would feel bad about... Did I miss? I think I missed. Fuck. Uh, I would feel bad about saving there. This is bad. Ah, fuck off. Man. Um, when I don't have any guarantee of when my next save would be. That went badly. Uh, that, that could have gone better. Man. These things hit hard. Um, shit. I already grabbed all the herbs outside. Where I'm going right now is I'm going back to the um, foyer, and then I'm going into that, I think it was a dressing room or something. There was a closet in there on the way back. Uh, hopefully I don't die. I didn't save, so that would be very annoying if I died. I might need to go pick up more healing again. Oh fuck, there's spiders in here now. Ah, oh, those are a pain in the ass. Um, I'm gonna go back and get a heal. You do not want to fuck with the spiders. The spiders take, like, seven or eight bazooka shots each. It is not worth your time. And in that meantime, they will have poisoned you, taken your health down to, like, red immediately in two hits, uh, and then you just die to the poison. It's an absolute disaster. Skywalker, they're after. 
Luke use the force and run, etc, etc. Um... They're made of space dust? Probably. Spooky. Oh, here's a note. Oh, thanks! Oh, Barry left the bullets! Oh. Well, we solved that mystery, gang. Uh, spiders. Those spiders make me want to save. <clears throat> and just deal with the consequences. The spiders are a pain in the ass. And it is very likely that I will die messing around with them. Fuck it. Alright, this is my last ink ribbon. I'm gonna have to find some in one of these helmet rooms. I shouldn't have saved after that boss, I guess. Or maybe I saved too much too early in the game. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Out of ink ribbons. A little bit of healing. Okay. Yeah, the limited saves are dumb. Um, I've used 14 saves. I... Th I think there's still twice as many of, as that in the game available. I think. So in theory, I'm fine. It's just, it it's a nightmare to not have saves, you know? What did it accomplish game-wise? It's supposed to add tension to the game, and you're like, oh god, I can't save, or like, to punish people that save a lot frequently and early. Uh, instead, it just makes the game really goddamn annoying. <laughs> it's a really bad mechanic that I'm glad they got rid of. Uh, and apparently some longtime RE fans are very mad that it's gone, and you're a big baby if you don't use it. Yeah, they were trying to add tension to the game and make it survival horror -y and and scarier, where you're like, oh god, do I push forward, or do I, you know, just deal with the consequences and press my luck. What do I do? Uh, and it kind of does that. Like, there are some people I know that play through this game and they save maybe three or four times. Period. Uh, those are people that are not afraid to lose, like, an hour and a half of content to some bullshit. <laughs> They can save once while playing Dark Souls level 1, no weapon rules. Yeah, true. Real Dark Souls players only throw poop at enemies to kill them. Cowards. Using armor and weapons? What are you, a big dumb baby? Jeez. I think it was this room. This was the painting room. And this one also had a helmet key spot, I think. Yeah, over here. Wait, what key is this? This is not the helmet key. What the hell key is it then? <laughs> Man. Some closet? I don't know. Ugh. I'm never gonna find that. Well, right, I was going to pull up a map of this area, or a map of the the mansion, because it's bullshit. Um, wait, I think I know what that's for, actually, now that I think about it. Because that's the, the wardrobe room. Um, part of the dressing room. I think that might be for costumes after your first playthrough. So it might make sense that I don't have that key, actually. Okay, that makes sense. Um, in that case... I think I need to go upstairs. Um, there's a helmet room, I think, on the top right upstairs. And then I need a... Uh, there's a staircase on the left on the first floor downstairs, but I can't go in there. 
<clears throat> and I need a code to get anywhere on the top left. However, there is an, a helmet key up there also. Uh, let's go to second floor, I guess, first. <clears throat> Check out that top left corner where the... I think there was a helmet key door near that code door. And then once we do that, then... Let's check out that top right door. I think that's actually next to the snake room, but on the opposite side of it. Uh, we didn't kill the snake. Uh, so I'm worried about that. <laughs> Still, actually. But uh, that's a future me problem, I think. I don't suspect I'll be finishing the game tonight. Um... Unless the end of this game just blazes by real quick for some reason. Also, I think these little frog guys are called hunters. Uh, the Saturn version of the game actually does have an evolved version of the hunter that's like a harder version later on. That isn't in the PlayStation release. I don't know if we'll see that, or where it is, but I know it exists. I heard something walking around. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> okay, there's two in that room. Great. Well, let's see if there's anything even up here. There's another one in here. Somewhere. camera angles. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, fucking Jill. Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't waste that shot. I think it was this door. Yes, this was a helmet key. Okay. Come on, ink ribbons. Come on, daddy needs a new pair of ink ribbons. Two of them. Falcon room. Okay. Uh, This is like a hunter's room, I guess. Trophy room, maybe? More magnum rounds. Um... What I really want are the shotgun rounds next to those. Yeah, I'll take those. Um, what else is in here? There's a staircase to what a bird? This deer? Where am I going? What? Okay. Well, clearly it's the deer, but I don't know why. Orders. Uh, X day is approaching. Uh huh. Lure the members of stars into the lab. Stars! That's us! Have them fight the Bow Wow from Super Mario 64. Uh huh. Tyrant. Destroy the lab. Sure. Huh. I wonder who that's for. Well, anyway. Uh, is this like a switch? What is this? Yes. Alright, turn the lights off. Oh. Wait, is that the red gem I need? Oh my god, yes. Okay, this is the tiger gem. Okay. Um. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That was first floor somewhere? Yeah. 
Uh, I would like to pick up those magnum ammo shots too. Hmm. Can't do that with what I have currently. Okay, I got an idea. Tactical. Tactical. It was a tactical shot. I have inventory space. I meant to do that. Uh, big problem, though. Uh, that was not ink ribbons. <laughs> hmm. So that's a problem. Um... And then this was the room that needed a code. So I can't go that way. Uh, tiger statue's like right down there. There's a save room there too I can go in, I guess. Maybe there's more ink ribbons in that save room now. Like Barry left them because he's cool. Hold on. Cause Barry left them because he's cool, maybe? Maybe? Think about it. You thinking? I'm thinking, what if Barry's cool? Oh, there's a funny fella. I'm gonna leave that guy alone. I Dino Crisis was so much scarier than this game because the dinosaurs could follow you into doors. Okay, there's no funny, funny stuff in here for saving. Uh, that is a problem, I think, for me. Um, you know, maybe I should just go use this gem, actually. First. I don't know what I don't need. Just kind of hoping there were ink ribbons in here. Okay. Let's go this way. I'm gonna work my way towards the tiger statue again, I think. Get rid of this gem and get whatever the hell's in there. Maybe it's a code that I need. Oh, sir? Ow! Rude. <laughs> Rude. A little bit of a slap on the... The back as I go by. Very rude. Uh, it's to the right. Sir? <laughs> sir? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, sir. <laughs> okay, this room. Some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. What a hard puzzle. What does that do? Uh, is that a gun? Oh, that might be the Magnum. Okay, sick. Sick, 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 sick. Alright, so we're done with that. I can't save, so it doesn't matter what I'm getting right now, I guess. Um, oh, uh, I kind of feel like I need to save, but I'm not in the red. Or I need to heal, but I'm not in the red. I'm a little worried about how much damage those things do, the hunters. Um, and shooting them is annoying. Uh, you know what? I wonder if I left healing in the plant room nearby, too, actually. I might have just left some healing in there. There's some places I couldn't pick up stuff because my inventory was full. But trying to get there might not be worth it. Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe we're checking. Now, the only place I have left that I can't, or that I haven't been, is the uh, top right of the second floor. How's it going, Nick? Ow. All you have is Boyk's bucks. What a scam. Also, a hundred years? Oh my god. Thank you for a hundred years. You can spend those Boyk's bucks on 
groceries at the grocery store. You just put them on the, you know, little carousel as it's bringing up your groceries. Like, hey, can I trade these? I bought these at 3 a.m. Uh, <laughs> off of a shopping channel because I'm sad and it's late. And they'll take it. They accept that. We got your favorite thing! <laughs> Disappointment! How's it going, Nick? Uh, I am out of ink ribbons, is is the situation we're in right now. So I'm currently doing a sweep to see if I missed any healing anywhere. I think these... Hold on. I think this is something I missed. It is. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's your worst fear. Yup. <laughs> I'm starting to remember some areas I didn't have inventory space for healing, so I'm, I'm going back to some of those. Um, I made a tactical save after beating the boss and killing, like, five hunters and getting a bunch of shit. Uh, but now, after that tactical save, now I'm like, oh, I'm still getting new stuff and I haven't found more ribbons. Oh, no. There's only one place left to go on the the map too, so I guess I'm going that way. I'm gonna have to run by a bunch of hunters to get there. I've only used 14 saves, which feels like not that many. Over 7 hours? That's a save every 30 minutes, right? Uh, but apparently that was enough to get punished, so... <laughs> Unless I missed some ink ribbon somewhere. Game? Fucking camera. Okay, so this is back here. Um, is this where I want to be? Or would I rather... This is fine. This is fine. There's two hunters in here I gotta run by. Before they get my cheeks. The hunters do less damage than the spiders. I think they're actually less scary than those. They don't poison you like the spiders do, either. Um, a spider hits you once and you're in yellow from green, and it poisons you at the same time. So, even if you run away, you're probably dead unless you have a blue. Uh, the hunters can hit you like six times. Which they will do, because your aiming is not very good and they jump at you when they get up, but still. You could hear the cheeks? Yep, that's them. But you're wondering how I wound up in this situation. Ow. Sir? Uh, the hunters also take two bazooka shots, like two RPGs to kill, or five shotgun shots. Uh, if there's two of them, you might as well just run away. Okay. I guess I'm going to the second floor. I didn't get any more ink ribbons. Um... I suspect this is going to be a problem room. Based on my current knowledge of what happened here previously in the game. Oh, sir. God damn it. Where am I going? This way. Stupid camera. Uh, hold on. I don't think I went this way last time. Where am I going? This is the way I want to go, okay. Well, sir? Did I get it? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well. Good. There's another one down here. There we 
we go. Um, downstairs is where the save room was, but I don't have ink ribbons anyways. Uh, the controls are pretty easy, honestly. This is a two-button game with a aim button added on. It's essentially an NES game. You're using D-pad movement A and B. That's it. So, it's pretty goddamn simple. Uh, it also, I don't think, supports the 3D controller, which was, I was actually a little annoyed at, because I'd rather use that, but... Okay, this was the last helmet key room, I think, in the... Yeah, in the whole place. Unless there's something in that top left area that I can't get to. And then this was the painting room, right? Yeah, this was the painting room. Okay. Okay. And yeah, that's the last one. Sweet. So the only thing I want to do right now, before I go in there, I suspect it's bad. The reason I suspect it's bad is because there was a snake earlier. A big snake-o. Uh, that I beat, but then it ran away, and that snake was a goddamn nightmare fight. Because it's, it's low to the ground, and it constantly pushes you up against stuff while hitting you. Um... One of three or four versions for PlayStation also... Oh, it did have analog. Probably a later release, yeah. That makes sense. Maybe the third game? Um... I think, yeah, as far as, like, tank controls go, this game is dead, dead simple. No pun intended. I guess I'm just grabbing as much health as I have, which is, what, like, two sprays? God. Um... I don't know. Does combining a blue with a blue do anything? Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up because the game doesn't tell you. Um, it only cures poison, and if you combine it with a green herb, it also heals you, or red and green. Uh, it does not combine with blue. Cool. Hi, Salem. Are you a kitty? How are you? I only have two shots left on this thing. Um... I think I have acid rounds in here I could grab, too. Maybe I want those? I don't know. I had to waste a lot of these to get rid of hunters on the way over. If I die now, I'm only losing 30 minutes of progress. A lot of that is just getting stuff I can get again later, so it's not that big of a deal. I saved in that room, which is right next to where whatever this thing is, too, so, it, like, it's fine. I'll just go get the magnum and gem and stuff again later. Hopefully we don't die, though. I'd say you're probably better off running past most enemies also, but I'm not very good at juking them. There's, like, specific parts of the screen you need to run towards to not get hit on the way by. Uh, if you got really good at that, like you were speedrunning, you could save so much healing. Oh, hey, one. How you doing? One second. Oh. Hello. Salem. Turn around. What are you doing? Come say hi. What? What? Are you scared of monsters? Huh? Are there scary monsters in the house too? 
Good boy. I know you're a good boy. It's a baby. Right? You're a good boy, aren't you? Oh, <laughs> yes, you are. I know. Yeah, there's a, a kitty convention in town on Saturday, which is like raising money for the Humane Society and a bunch of other stuff, charities. Uh, cat cafes, things like that. I was thinking about checking that out and petting some kitties this weekend. Salem might be jealous, though. Alright, Salem. I'm about to get my butt kicked by a scary monster, so I gotta put you on the ground so I don't die as badly <laughs> by you walking in front of the television. Okay. Let's uh, get to it, I guess. I might be wrong about this too, and this is a totally safe room, and I just got prepared for no reason. But I suspect... Mm... Nope, I don't trust it. Mm... Nope, don't trust it. Too spooky. Yeah, that's what I thought. <gasps> Ow, fucking... I hate this stupid snake. It's impossible to hit this goddamn thing. Oh my god, it's already killing me. I... see? Like, how do you dodge this fucking thing? By the time I shoot, it's already killing me. And now I'm stuck inside of it. I don't know, man. Bad news. We're redoing everything. I don't... There's nowhere to go. game. Wait, hold on. Gaming? Oh, I'm out of healing, though. <laughs> There's that problem. Uh... Yeah, I'm out of healing. That's the problem. Uh, well, that sucked. Um, I don't. And uh oh. Hey, Barry. Where were you, bud? Have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Oh, it's a hole. Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. <gasps> yeah, Richard gave this to me. The radio is a keepsake from him. Richard? <gasps> All right, the radio. Cool. This is more useful to you than me. Ready to go? No. Oh no. <laughs> I don't I'm a I'm in danger. Sir! Hey! Let me go back and get my healing. Sir, I'm in danger. Oh, I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry! Well, anyway, we're going to, I guess we're going to wait. Uh, he said he was getting another rope, so. 
you know. Um, I'm sure he'll come back. He'll come back. He wouldn't forget about good old Jill. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll come right back. Hey, yeah. Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope. Hey, hey, Barry, do you got health packs up there too, man? Oh, man. Uh. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. God, this is no, voice acting. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. <gasps> Is it? Oh, oh, this is the number I need for the top floor. Great. Uh, uh yep. Yeah. Uh, password. That's cool. I would like some healing and ink ribbons, please. Thank you. I'll take this then. <laughs> God, this dialogue is amazing. Um, maybe the gross snake has healing? Yeah, maybe? Spooky gross? No, okay, fine. Ah, shit. Um... Well, hmm. you love when the zombie survival game turns into mist. This was always a spooky puzzle game. How's it going, TBCR? By the way, line was on par with that line from Half Life. Wad Asher uh, Sheep. I know you need my help. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That is pretty good. Uh, I might... Hold on. I might have a spray in my uh, storage down here. I don't remember if I do. The blue herb was worthless. Unfortunately. I was thinking the snake might poison me with its venomous fangs, but it did not. Uh, and you can't heal with a blue herb, so... Uh, the reason I thought that, by the way, is because the snake poisoned you with its venomous fangs in the first fight. <laughs> okay, thank you. I do have a spray. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. We're not out of the woods yet, though. Um, I guess this is what I'm going with. I have no healing. I know where I can get some healing. I, I know where there's one herb. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, second floor. We beat two bosses today. Let's keep that progress, hopefully. Uh, all the voice lines in this game, like all the line reads. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Perfect video game. Wouldn't change anything about how they were done. Uh, okay, I guess we're going back up to the second floor. And finding our way back over to that corner. I hate that snake, by the way. That snake is a dog shit fight. The thing just coils around you immediately. You can't go anywhere, and it pushes you into, like, walls and stuff, turns you around. It's such a bad fight. I think there were hunters in here I didn't kill. I don't remember. 
I guess we'll find out. Bad dog. Oh. Hey. The fuck? <laughs> okay. Two magnum rounds also killed him, I guess. That's the good news. Um. I think that's the way I need to go. I think there might be another one down this corner. No. The scan line on the map? Yeah, it's it's a cute touch. It's cute. It would look even better on a CRT. I, I, I'm obviously playing on a CRT, but... Hold on, actually, I can simulate that. Uh, One second here. There we go. How's that look? <laughs> anyway. I don't usually do that because it looks really bad when your uh, screen is small like on a phone. Because all the scan lines just run together and make it really dark. So I stopped putting the scan line filters on. Oh, I hope there's a save room up here with some ink ribbons. All oh, right, these two dorks. Um, there's like one literally right here that I can't see. Did I get it? I don't know. Oh, I did. Why'd that one only take one shot? Am I dying again? No. Oh, I'm yellow. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, that makes me nervous. I know where there's one green herb, but I have to get by a hunter to get it, I think. Because it's like down here past two hunters. And then in the plant, like, botanical room past even more hunters. Maybe I should switch to this shotgun. Oh, you don't actually need to type in the code. That's nice. Okay. Um... Here's the to-do list. Top left, second floor. We're going there now. Pull in the ground, top right. Go down there. Uh, broken shotgun. We have a code I don't know what the hell to do with, and I picked up a Doom book, whatever the hell that is. Uh, okay. Oh my god, what was that? Hey man. Fuck off. Okay, I can't see what that is. Oh. Bad dog. Bad dog. Okay. <laughs> it's so quaint to see zombies after... Oh no. Um... Is this a hallway? No, okay. Oh, herbs. Oh, and a zombie. There we go. Gaming.
These are definitely nice to find. Okay. Um... Okay. Did not mean to do that. Well, I was trying to exit the map, but I was itching my eye. <laughs> Alright, well, too bad. Wasted healing. Oh, spook him. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. This is a Wendy's. You are not a paying customer. Sir, there is no public restroom in this Wendy's. Sir? Okay. <laughs> What's in here? Okay. Bazooka ammo, I like that. Uh, a battery. Oh my god, that's so far from here. That's way back outside. Ah, this game. Here, take this item. Now go all the way back through the mansion. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Things are so far apart. There's gonna be a spookum around this corner. <gasps> Scariest thing of all, healing that I can't pick up! No, dude! God damn it. <laughs> oh, and there's a monster. Oh, camera? No. Okay, there we go. Fuck. I don't know why the camera suddenly changed at that spot, but alright. Another zombie. There we go. This looks like some sort of library. Sure. Magnum rounds, cool. I'll take those. I found a Doom book earlier that might go in the library here somewhere. I do see a zombie. Actually, what I thought was a zombie was a chair leg, and then there was also a zombie, so it worked out. Zordon. That's Jill Sandwich. I know, that's her. I've heard about her. I think this is north? I don't know where this door goes. Let's find out. This might be that, that door to the north that didn't have a door listed. Okay... Shit. 
That is a thing I need. However, shit. Um, shit, 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 shit. I don't have room. I don't have room for that either. And there's health I need to pick up. Oh my god. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go back to the save room. Drop shit off. The music when your cat approaches last room. True. I do need those ink ribbons. Um, that's a problem, actually. Oh, there's a book here I gotta pick up too? No, dude. Oh no, okay, this is just... Okay. This is about the hunters. If you're looking for adventure, go check it out. Why not? What are you going to do? Die? God. <laughs> that is irresponsible reporting. All right, well, maybe this is a save room. That would be nice. Yeah, sounds like an adventure. Can't wait. God. Oh, this is just begging for something to attack me. Chemistry books, sure. That light didn't do anything. <laughs> Something has been placed here. I probably can't pick it up because my inventory is full. Nope. Wait, no, no, no. They want me to put this here. Ah, okay. Never mind. I see. Give me a second. What doesn't kill you makes you more undead. It's true. You know what I always say? Hey, uh... My brother Luigi, Papa Spaghetti, yay! Mamma Mia! You know, like you do. <laughs> no, I need that. Fuck, um, I need so many things, and I don't have inventory space for all this shit. Uh, god damn it, okay. I guess we're going to a save spot to drop stuff off, and then rushing all the way back here afterwards. To pick up all the stuff. Man, why wasn't there a save spot up here? That's annoying. Oh, I can't say that kind of thing without saying, Forget about it! I'm walking here! Eh. I'll have you know that I am also Italian. <laughs> Although it's uh, Ukrainian Italian, but still. My dad's from Staten Island. My uh, gr grandmother uh, came over through Ellis Island. In like the 30s, I think. Alright. Uh, because of unforeseen circumstances, I need to drop all of my shit off and then come back and grab all of this shit. Because the inventory is too small. For immersion reasons, you see. It's not not because of any nonsense. It's because it's immersion. It's spookiness. Yeah, in RE2, I think they gave you items you could get that increased your inventory space. 
as you played. Like, that was a normal part of the gameplay. In this one, it's straight up eight slots. That's all you get. Pick what you want to bring with you, dummy. It's scarier that way. Very spooky. I do know where there's a save room. There's just two hunters outside of the door of it. Uh, I think I can run by them without getting hit, though. So I guess that's where I'm going. Yeah, have a good one, Nick. Catch you later. Uh, okay. No, Jill. The room. Thank you. I have like five or six things I need to pick up. Um... Best Pokemon Evolution. That Pikachu in A's hat. stupid empty bottles that I'm never going to use again. I remember now. Okay, I guess I'm clearing my inventory and then picking up all that shit. Uh, and then we'll go save, I guess, so we don't have to redo an hour's worth of work. Um, but then that means I have one save left, but at least I know where I'm going now. I either need to go down in that hole, or I need to go um, do the battery. Next. Those are the two things. I'm not really sure what's in that hole. Um, because I didn't explore it when Barry was there. I waited for Barry to come back. So I'm curious if there is actually something. I could just save less and just never die, that's true. The combat in this game is whack. <laughs> I don't trust myself to not get stuck on something and just die immediately. That's why I save so much. And by save so much, I mean like every 30 minutes to an hour, which is actually not that much at all. Uh, but apparently it's still a lot by this game's standards. I should also probably be killing less enemies, but it does make all this navigating back and forth way easier. Because uh, constantly running back and forth is pretty annoying. A lot of dead time when you don't know what's uh, ahead. I guess padding? I don't know. You really could only deal with this stuff if you uh, knew ahead of time that this was here. I could switch to the carrying the pistol again, actually, too, now I'm thinking about it. Wasn't there pistol ammo here? Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay. There's a helipad. 
Which I'm assuming is where that elevator goes down to. Oh, I didn't actually try using the elevator either. That might be something to try. Okay, what is this? A Mo disc or an M0 disc? I don't know what that is. Um Startup disc. Uh An Amogus disc? Oh my god. put an Amogus with a giant dumpy in the National Archives. You realize this, right? Used by... Your cat is using your stomach as a board while he cleans his tail? Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're stuck there forever now. Why would I say that? That is a national treasure. That's why. Nicholas Cage is going to try to steal that, that picture of an Amogus with a giant dumpy. It's going to happen. Okay, I can go in here. Terrifying. Um, where does this go? would never sell out to the dumpy you don't know man i feel like i should go back and save before i do whatever the fuck it's i would like to leave i would like to go back <laughs> i don't know what this is but i don't want to be here i haven't saved yet that is a future me problem All right, here's the updated notes. Hole in the ground. Battery for an elevator in the courtyard. Indoor elevator on the second floor of the mansion. Uh, I have a broken shotgun, a code, I don't know what the hell it's for, and a doom book. Oh, and a M disc, whatever the hell that's for. Some computer, some nerd stuff, I don't know. Stop all that down, Alright, um... Okay, so the first thing I want to do is... Save. Save. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna check out that hole. Um... In the floor, I think, afterwards. The outdoor battery, I think, is another good one. Because it's just annoying to do. That's the basement. Oh. Um. Okay. Maybe I could explore the basement? You know, I could come back here and do that first, actually. I thought that might be a different area entirely, like the lab that they've been alluding to. 
The elevator might actually be the lab. Now I'm thinking about it. I, I guess I'll explore that after I save. Gives me chance to pick up my weapons again, too. I can't wait for the Columbo versus Amogus movie. That is what everybody is waiting for. Uh, you say you didn't vent, but there's just one thing. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, what am I doing? Uh, you. I don't know what the hell you're for. There. Um. Cliff. That's not Cliff. Uh, you. And then. You know, I probably do want the Python. Morbius versus Joker. Like Joker 2 Joker? Oh yeah, that's the shit. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. After an hour I can save. Oh, okay. And the sink ribbon thing is dumb. The ink ribbon is definitely the worst idea they had for this game. Okay, um, I guess I'm going down that elevator. I don't know if I want to bring that pistol with me too instead of the magnum. I'm worried about hunters, but I guess it's just been zombies again. Well, you know, except for that hunter. <laughs> that one right there, but, you know, other than that one. We don't talk about that one. That one's not real. That's just Jim. Lives under the stairs, you know. Pretty cool guy. I guess I'm going to take a break. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I was <clears throat> rubbing my beard and one of my beard hairs pierced through my skin and is now in my finger. <laughs> Damn it. So I'm going to deal with that. Um, I, I guess I'll run an ad real quick. Can I? I can't run ads. I guess ads must have auto-ran at some point. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll be right back, so... One moment. Uh, have a be right back here, don't I? Yeah. All right, be right back.
Okay. Uh, I got the hair out of my finger. <laughs> Onward. There was definitely a zombie on the floor. Um, could be bad. There might be more ink ribbon down there, which would be the main reason to go. That's the that's the one thing I'm I'm willing to you know explore for. Uh, it also might eventually be progress. I guess we'll, we'll check it out. See what, 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 what it's all about, you know? As a great poet once said. I want to say... Wasn't there a special basement theme for this game on the director's cut? Did I get him? I did not get him. Hey, man. There we go. <laughs> uh, if I remember right, the basement music for RE Director's Cut is, like, from somebody who lied about being a musician. <laughs> and just made shit up. And it was absolute trash. Something like that. It's a really funny story of just a con artist. Well, funny in big quotes, I guess. Water is not supplied. Sure. <gasps> oh no. Is that hunter coming after me? It's a spooky monster! Aw, oh, jeez! Alright, well, I'm glad I saved. I was worried about something like this. Um... Where is it? In front of me. Okay. Oh, it's just a zombie? Wait, they can use doors? What? Why can they use doors? Huh. An oven. Badly rusted. Cool. Oh, it's like cleaning supplies. Um... Nothing in there. Okay. Sure. Locked from inside. Huh. Sure. Is this all nothing? Where does this go? Oh, I have a hunch where this goes. Actually. There's another elevator. Where the hell am I? Yeah, that stairwell. That makes sense. Okay. Because this door was locked on this side. Okay. Um, is this just nothing, then? I guess? Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll mark down indoor elevator done. So the other place I can think to go would be the hole in the floor on the top. Um...
Does that line up with anything? Maybe. Oh, sir? God damn it. Sir? This is a went. Sir, sir. I went. I went down a bad path. Sir? Sir? <laughs> Mistakes were made, sir. I saved right before this. I don't really care if I die. And what I found there was, was basically nothing. So... Um, there's the second floor hole. I guess I can go investigate that. This might all be a wash. If it is, I'm just going to load my save and not bother with it. I guess. I haven't found a new save room anywhere. Which makes me think there might be one when I finally go up that elevator outside in the courtyard. This is the right room. This is not the right room. I went the wrong way. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't load a save is one I find a key item, uh, and two I find ink ribbons, so I'm up on saves and then I can save afterwards. Wait, this also isn't the right way. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> what year is it? Who am I? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Fuck. Where am I going? Oh my god. Uh Okay. It's the next door. Wait, no, that's the trophy room. It's this door? I'm all turned around. I guess it's the door after the trophy door. So this one? Yeah, this one.
Here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna try and go back down that hole. See if there's anything useful down there. I've finished the awful Red Bull that I will never buy again. Oh, you know what it tastes like? I was saying it tastes like medicine. I think it's worse. You know those incredibly chalky Smarties that you get in Halloween candy sometimes? That's what it tastes like. Or like Neko wafers. Okay, I never even looked at this. What the hell is this? There's just a spoopum grave over here for some reason. Uh, that's the same noise as the basement? So is this the basement? Yes. Okay, so this is just the other side of that. Alright, well maybe there's something useful down here. There's a spooky monster. That's pretty useful. Sure. Cool hallway. Okay. Um, so in that case... Was there really nothing here? <laughs> Is this all just a big scam? No way, right? Oh wait, okay. Whew. Okay, it was not a scam, technically. There was ammo that I'm using on killing these enemies. Them on this. Oh, what was that noise? Oh, hello, sirs. Well, keep at it. Keep it up. Doing great. Okay, that was all a big scam. <laughs> I'm I'm positive on shotgun rounds, I guess. Is the one thing. Sure. Um, in that case, I guess the only place left to go is the courtyard. Uh, exiting this way sucks because there's two hunters, though. Can I go back up the elevator? That would be too easy. Okay, I'm gonna run to the door to the right side of the screen. Hopefully not get hit by a hunter. Oh fuck, in the course he's blocking me. Alright, and I guess I'm going to the save room near the courtyard exit. Yeah, I guess. Okay. God, that one hit put, put me in yellow, man. That sucks. Um, that whole adventure was a scam, so I'm not gonna save. 
If I die, I die. If he dies, he dies. Uh, yes. Kind of wish I saved some of the herbs from earlier in the game outside instead of using them all. I'm gonna have to run by those spiders again. In this hallway, in the dog hallway. Oh, sir? Nice try, dummy. <laughs> Got him. Alright, one second. Okay. Sorry, my mom is texting me. All the way through here. Now the question is, do I want to save before I go back out to the courtyard? I didn't get anything for investigating that area, and all I did was lose health and ammo. So I guess no. If I die, I'll walk all the way back, like I was saying. I'm just thinking about it again. I guess no. I'm just gonna assume that there's a save whenever I go down that elevator. Somewhere. But I need to take the battery out and take that with me. Also, maybe take the bazooka with me. Um, I guess that means I'm putting this back for space, and I'm out of health, right? Yeah, totally out of healing. Great. I accidentally used some healing multiple times in this game when I didn't mean to. That's a, a fun little bonus factor. Going back outside to the courtyard. <laughs> Sir, God damn it. <laughs> I didn't kill that one, I guess. Just ignored it and ran past it. I don't know. Maybe that wasn't there last time. I'm fine. Mm, so I gotta run past the snake hallway. Uh, go back downstairs. I grabbed all the healing here. Pretty sure. There's very little resources left over in the game of what I've already explored. Since it's all finite. Alright. The spooky snakes falling from the sky level. Oh. 
very scary. They're like falling from the sky. It's very spooky. Wait, what was that? It looks like there's something on the ground here, but I think that's just a texture problem. Okay. So wherever the hell this thing goes is where we're going. <sighs> a map of the garden. So this is a new area. Oh, it's part of the courtyard, though. And it's very confusingly overlaid on top of the courtyard. <laughs> Great. Excellent. Oh, was that just a shortcut here? Wait, that's not progress? Wait... What? I guess that gave me a map to give me a hint about where to go? Um... It looks like there's something in the water... somewhere? Hold on. Is that why I needed that? There are steps down there. I did remember pointing those out earlier. So is there some way to like drain the water? Maybe? These steps. Oh! In the upper passage. How do I... <gasps> oh! The crank! Hold on. I needed that because I needed... Ah! Okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. I understand the puzzle. I need to go get the crank. I need to turn off the water flow. Cool. It just hit me. <laughs> Alright, one second. I forgot to write down crank on my list of items that I still have. Okay. I guess that's the only thing I have to do right now is the crank. There's a room here I can get my stuff somewhat conveniently. Um, so I need to take the crank, I need to change the water level, and then I need to take the elevator back down and go through the waterfall area. And I think we're done with the mansion. I, I think there's literally nothing left to do in the mansion, except for that uh, closet room, which is just for costumes, I suspect. Oh, I still have this lighter I don't know what to do with. Let me write that down, too. And empty bottles times three, whatever the hell those are for. Okay. Uh, 
Yes. This way. Y'all hear about these video game things? I heard they're pretty good. They keep coming out with new ones. And they got all these old ones. Might be something to that. You know? Okay. Back here. I think this is a fun puzzle. Having you uh, deactivate something you activated earlier. For progress. I don't like that there's so much backtracking to do all this, but... I do think it's a fun puzzle. All the water from down there has magically reappeared up here. that back corner for some reason. Not where the uh, button is. Okay, that should open this up. I can see what the hell this is. There's a ladder. Uh, yes. Some sort of an underground passage, I guess. Yes. Um door. What is this? <gasps> oh, Barry. Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. <laughs> well, I should probably go with them. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Thanks, Barry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Uh... No. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. I'll go first. We're good pals. Barry wouldn't betray. Chill. <laughs> Come on. He's a good, good buddy. A good friend. There was a door at the end of that other... Can I go back? Or will Barry be mad if I leave? I'm curious. I want to see what that door is. Um... 
Never mind. It's probably fine. It's pro it's probably fine, you know, it's probably fine. What well, what's Barry gonna do? Kill me? In a fit of rage? I don't think so. Sure. Um there's a door to the right. That is that door on the bottom. Alright, what's this way? Spooky. Oh, sick. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, there's healing here too? Yo? Yo? Now we're gaming? Some sort of a generator. Good to know. Uh, and then this, I think, is the door that goes back to the hallway I was just in. Yeah. So... That's fine. I'm sure this whole generator thing or whatever will be useful later. Uh, oh, that's the secret... That's the secret extra enemy in this game. That's only in the Saturn version. Yo? It's a brown hunter, or a red hunter? Something like that. They're like a super hard version of the hunter. Uh, they're not in the PlayStation version, apparently. Is that Jill? <gasps> Is that voice Enrico's? Enrico? Yeah? You're alive! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I Are guess. Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes. Enrico! <gasps> Barry. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. <gasps> Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. <gasps> what the? <gasps> Enrico! Barry! Oh, wait. Wait, who did that? <laughs> oh no. A bamboozle has happened. Eh. I don't know if I want a clip. Hey, who was that? There's a traitor among us. Among us? Oh, hold on, what the hell's this? Another completely different crank. Uh-oh, what's that? A hex crank. Great. I'm full of cranks. I guess I'm leaving? Figure out who the hell that was? Hmm. Like that. No, Jill. <laughs> oh. What? 
Where'd you come from? Hey, man. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't have any healing left, so that sucks. Um, crap. Oh no, I have a, I have a spray, technically. Okay. Now we have these hunters to deal with. Super difficult hunters that act like norm- Ow. Fucking- I don't want to go this way, do I? I don't know. There's a hunter in front of where I want to go, I think. Man, Jill, turn around. Okay. So, I was at full health. The hunter hit me once. What's my health at now? Ooh. Caution? Oh my god. Typewriter? Is there ink ribbon? No. Well, you gotta give me ink ribbon if you're giving me... Trying to think. Um, do I want to use an ink ribbon? This is about when I'd want to stop. I think I'm going to use the ink ribbon, but I don't think I'm going to heal. I'm going to see what that room leads into also. After I save, just to get some more information, maybe. This might be a bad play. I don't think I want to go back for that pistol clip either. <laughs> oh, I wish I had an herb. Um... Uh, okay.
Let's do it. Okay. Uh, let's just go through there just to see what's in that room. Curious. And then I think we'll call it for tonight. I just want some information for next time. It feels like I gotta be getting close to the end of the game, but that can't be right. We haven't even met the tyrant yet that they've, you know, noted multiple times now. Oh, right. Maybe I should have brought the ink ribbon here to save, actually. <laughs> Whatever. This is actually probably better that I did it in the other room, because there's, uh, storage in that room, if I want to change my mind on my plan here. I don't know why there's a typewriter here. It's such a weird spot. I don't know what that is. I don't hear anything. A boulder. A rock. There's a big rock. Sure. Um... Is that good? Can't believe I just got overblooded. Not this time, fucker. This is all moot, because I'm gonna have to do this again. There's flame rounds. Okay, that's probably important for something. That's the main reason to go in here, I guess. Is this exit anywhere? Apparently not. Um, does that mean I need to go back to Barry? I don't know. Is this where, like, the broken shotgun goes? What the hell is that? Oh, wait, no, the boulder did open something. Hold on. So this is progress. It dark sold me. Oh fuck. Don't like this. Can't see shit. I missed. What? Apparently that missed. That one hit the... What? Game! Apparently that was a miss. Alright, well, I know what I'm doing next time. <laughs> That's the important thing, I guess. Spooky spider in Boulder Passage. 
That's a good stopping point too, I guess. Alright, let's stop there.